Ukrainian troops have broken through Russian lines in the southern region of Kherson, liberating several villages. Kyiv's forces now control settlements some 30 kilometers behind previous front lines. The mood of the boys, everything has changed compared to what it was before. It has become much better. There is some light at the end of the tunnel, inspired by victories. Ukrainian forces are also consolidating territorial gains in the east. The city of Leman is in ruins, its streets littered with burned out Russian tanks and dead soldiers. Ukrainian generals say they have advanced 55 kilometers over the past two weeks close to Kharkiv. Russian forces are struggling to hold their line. We've had reports that the units in northern Kherson Oblast are completely under strength, understaffed and stretched along a very, very long front line that the Russian troops just do not have the men to fill. The United States announced an additional $625 million worth of new security assistance for Kyiv this week. Ukraine needs weapons, an efficient amount, because Russian people will tolerate war criminals, but they will not tolerate looting war criminals. And this military defeat in, um, in Ukraine uh, provides the first sign of bankruptcy of Putin ratings in Russia. Russian President Vladimir Putin last week announced the annexation of four areas of Ukraine, a move rejected by most of the international community. Analysts say the war is entering a critical moment. It's becoming in some ways make or break for Putin. His abilities to survive depends on some level uh, by saying I've succeeded in, uh, in defending the Russian homeland and expanding it. Where this goes, nobody knows, but it's safe to say that this probably is the most perilous moment for Mr. Putin since he took power about 20 years ago. Putin has said he will use any means necessary to defend Russia, raising fears he could use so-called tactical nuclear weapons. Stuff is trending very badly for Russia. Now, I don't know how bad it has to be before Russia would consider using nuclear weapons in a very serious way. I'm not even sure Putin knows in his own mind how bad this would have to be for him to use nuclear weapons. For now, Russia is trying to turn the tide with conventional forces. The Defence Ministry said this week over 200,000 men have already been drafted into the armed forces since a partial mobilisation was announced two weeks ago. These forces are unlikely to provide any sort of additional defensive capabilities or offensive capabilities in the short run. And in the long run, these troops are unlikely to be well trained or necessarily highly motivated. Russian forces continue to launch shells and missiles into Ukrainian held territory, often into civilian areas. This convoy of evacuees fleeing the city of Zaporizhia was hit September 30th. Dozens were killed, including many women and children. Moscow did not comment on the attack. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London. Peace. Peace. Peace.